Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. How has everyone been? I have missed y'all. I'm pretty sure y'all been better than me. Now I did address this in my last video, but if you're here as far as the movie community goes, you probably don't know because that was in my board game video. Um, I slipped and fell when I was trying to be Joe from Twister. There was a tornado coming. Well, maybe it wasn't a tornado coming, but we thought there was, okay? And what happened was I was outside and I was trying to see. I said, I want to see. I want. Okay, anywho, I sipped and I fell a little bit. And my hand said, oh, don't worry, I'll save you. I should have just fell on my bum. Uh, Lord knows it gave me plenty of cushion back there where I could have been like, okay. Mid-year movie tag. I know technically we're past the mid-year part, but it's okay. Y'all don't come at me, okay? It is what it is. It is what it is. So I have watched in 2024, there was something going on with Letterboxd. 24, no, 25 movies because I saw Trigger Warning today. That's somewhere to be on my list. So I've only seen 25 movies this year, okay? So take that as you will as far as my list goes, that there's only 25 movies to choose from, okay? So more than likely, actually, there is likely will be doubles on here. Just doubles, not like triple, like the same movie. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, if you want to just have a new movie for each thing, then you do you. I did get this tag idea from the book community last year i just pretty much swapped off book for movie we have 10 questions this time last year i only did nine the 10th question was technically like the tag but we have 10 questions plus i have uh one two three five, plus i have five alternative questions in case some of the questions that are on my list you're like i don't like those and you may want to use the alternatives and or you can just do you, your own questions you know do you there there are no rules here okay there's not like a set deal but i did um swap out two questions i think that I had last year for this year because I didn't have anything to be honest with you for that particular question. Yeah, no, I'm always talking so, so much. So if you jump forward, you're in the right spot because we're going to start this. Question number one, best action movie of 2024. So far, in my little humble opinion, of course, out of my 25, what did I say? 25 movies that I have watched is going to be The Beekeeper with Jason Statham. I really really enjoyed that movie quite a lot. And we have Best Horror Movie of 2024 so far. I'm going to stop saying that. Now this is a, a category that I pretty much have for everybody else because as you may or may not be aware especially if you are new I am I myself am not a horror person so I usually only tend to have one one or two movies that I've seen that fall within the horror category for me personally because once again that's not my stuff but I have watched one horror movie and it's Abigail and honestly I really enjoyed it I really did honestly if I had not enjoyed it I would have substituted for one of the alternative uh, questions that I have but I really like that movie. I like vampires. Um, some stuff I did have issues with it. Question number three. Uh, favorite sequel slash remake. Now for me personally it's going to be Bad Boys Ride or Die. Now quite honestly I went into this movie not really expecting much. I was like I don't know how I feel about Will Smith. I honestly haven't seen a Will Smith movie since the slap situation occurred. And it kind of addressed what well, they did address it in their own comedic way but at the same time it's like man that's not the same i i always do this i always go with the negative stuff don't mind me i really liked it though it was very entertaining gave me what i wanted i actually like this one over part three i really wasn't a fan of part three i know it's technically not a sequel it's not part two but it is what it is this is this is how i'm i'm putting part four you do you okay you do your own rules okay this is my video question number four is favorite character who from all the 24 movies that i watch who was my favorite character and honestly this was just easy peasy lemon squeezing i put honestly i put it here to piggyback off bad boys uh four and it's gonna be reggie from bad boys four because man oh man did reggie do his thing and then he has his moment i said Reggie yes question five most surprising movie again I only had 24 movies okay I know I keep saying 24 because technically when I did this list it was only 24 and I just saw 25 today for me personally it was I knew I was gonna like you because I love Zendaya <laughs> 
I just didn't realize I was gonna love you, you know? And that's Challengers. What that movie gave, I said, yes, queen. I loved it. Y'all could be like, well, it's because you love that shower scene. That's neither here nor there. I bet y'all that was a, a locker room filled of naked women, y'all wouldn't be talking as much shit, would y'all? No. So let the ding lings ding. <laughs> Question number six. It's gonna be favorite movie poster. This is a new question as well. Now this is kind of hard for me, I'm not gonna lie, because when it comes to like posters, when it comes to like cover art for the steelbooks, the Blu-rays, whatever, physical media sort of situation, sometimes, you know, like I'm in a group and I'll be like, oh, that's, I mean, I keep it to myself now because I know. But low key, sometimes I'll be like, oh, that seems nice, right? That seems, I like it. But then again, I really don't care much about that stuff. But it's like, for me, sometimes I'm like, okay, that looks good. That looks cool. Whatever. But then it's like everybody in the chat's like, that's trash. <laughs> and I'm like, so take that as you will. For my small selection that I, that I was, that I saw. And I'm looking at the posters. Mind you, I'm going by... The posters that are on the letterbox just because it's easier for me to kind of just see them all there like oh okay I know that there's like different posters for different deals but I'm going by that general letterbox stuff for me personally the one that really stood out the one that jumped at me the one that I do want to purchase because I again I really like it it captivated me Lisa Frankenstein's poster I don't know it's like there's not much going on. I think it's just the moon. It's like so magical, you know? It's like, it's not thing too, too like busy. It's simple, but it makes a statement. And I love it, okay? And this is my list. And you let me love what I love, okay? Question number seven would be most disappointing movie. Now this may be a shocker for you because I've been hearing nothing but great, well, not necessarily great things but at the same time yes and one of the main things that i've been hearing is you have to get through the first part of the movie i am sorry i don't want to have to get through a movie you know what i mean jelly beans uh, for me that's furiosa mad max saga i was looking forward to this movie it was the first part like they, they went too long as her as a child Quite frankly, I didn't care. Worst movie of the year. I feel like I would get no objections with this one. I feel like as far as my list goes, this is probably the one that most people are going to agree with me and or have the same answer. And that's going to be Madam Web because I do not know what that was. <laughs> Nor do I know what that voice was. I don't know. It's just, you know, I haven't made voices for you. I know what I haven't sung to you guys. I know what I won't sing. I promise, maybe. I don't know. Let's take that promise back. I was also looking forward to Madam Web because I'm like, cool beans. Superhero movie, women, girl power, yes. But then we got this. Best movie of the year. Y'all gonna get a sneak peek before I do my top 10 favorite movies of 2024, which quite frankly it's only half of the movies that I've seen obviously so again take that list as you will so for me that's gonna be June part two I really enjoy those movies could not get through the book I tried to do the book you know when part one couldn't do it it was just too much but I do enjoy the movie and I enjoy the board game but the book was a no for me. Question number 10. We have made it to the finale here, okay? Most anticipating upcoming movies. My number one that I'm like, oh, I just you better hopefully not let me down. Deadpool and Wolverine. I love Deadpool. I love Wolverine. I love them together. And I feel like they're gonna deliver what a Deadpool movie will deliver, you know? Borderlands, I just seems like it's gonna be like a fun movie, a quiet place day one little juice two because little juice you know for all two i'm quite intrigued by that particular movie i did watch the like original one in like a film class when i was in college and it was really i never <laughs> i 
can never get past that. I love it. Now, I do have some new people compared to last year. Some of these are new friends. Some of them are just, you know, people that I would like to reach. This is my way of reaching out to you. Like, hey, you want to be my friend? The first one is going to be an oldie. Y'all already know. I'm going to be tagging y'all. Alex, Nate, Geeks and Flick, Ben Buster, Cinematic Tendencies, Big uh, Rob Theory, Jason the Old Millennium, Recharge Your Reviews, and Matt Wyatt. I really hope you guys do this tag don't forget to tag me if you decide to do this anybody out there don't wait for anybody to tag you when i tell y'all if i like a tag i will jump right on board and i will tag myself again all the questions will be down below as far as the alternative questions go two from last year that i ended up taking off uh was the underrated your favorite underrated movie favorite comedy movie and then some other ones that are new questions that i was like oh i think this will be fun favorite movie score favorite animated film y'all haven't seen any animated films this year what i love animation movies no the role okay why i didn't have this question last year either i don't understand either and then lastly it's from my like movie collectors um, that I thought would be fun. Favorite 4K or steelbook, you know, like the cover, kind of like with the poster, but that's like the poster, movie poster, but this is more for like your physical media stuff. I thought that would be a fun one. So those are just some alternative questions for you. If some of the 10 that I did, you're like, you know what? I'm not too fond of those, but I like some of these other ones, then you can do these. And or if you want to answer all 15, then great answer all 15 of course before you leave don't forget to like comment share subscribe you know what do me a little um a sympathy subscribe oh i'm handicapped right now subscribe for the poor girl that's it for me today thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys at concession bye